okay so welcome back to this channel so in my previous video I have worked on my how we can uh, protect the backend endpoints and in this video I will uh, handle two things first of all we can update our address and now we can delete the address okay uh, so for that I simply first of all go to my uh, backend in the controllers in the address controllers and there is one issue that if I go back to my uh, Google Chrome now the issue is that we are getting all the addresses from the database here but we have to get get the addresses of the current user only okay we are only just using here address.find and it is getting all the addresses so we have to filter out the address and we have to type in here that i want to find the addresses where user is going to be request dot user dot underscore id remember that uh, this is a protected route okay and we have used this middleware on that and it will reset the user in the request.user so we have access to the request.user.id here and we also have to actually save the user id while creating the address okay and for that i simply go to my model first of all so address model and i have to add the user field here so user okay and that i have to add some options first of all what is the type and then type is going to be the uh, id of the mongoose so mongoose.schema dot types dot object id we have to store the mongoose object id here and then the field is required a type here required to true and we have to pass one more field here that is called reference so what is the reference so the reference is the user model so it will save the user id in this field save it now we have uh, modified our model we have to restart our server once again so i will restart the server and now I will delete all my addresses from the database so that we have our user field so I open my MongoDB now you can see that here is the by now databases and we have addresses here so I have to delete all the addresses so actually I will go here and delete this entire collection so I will type here um, addresses paste it here and delete and drop the collection so now let's create new uh, the addresses and we also have to save the ID of the user so I will type here uh, request dot body dot user is going to be request dot user dot ID so in this way it will say, uh, get the ID of the current user and save that uh, in the body and we will pass that body in this create and will save that user in the database let me show you if I go back to this page now we don't have any address here close this from here add address just type here some gibberish just to test and if I type here add okay and if I go to my mongodb compass and if I uh, refresh uh, reload data in the addresses you can see that here now we have the user id okay so user id is saving successfully here and now we also have type here check that only get the addresses of the current user so in this way we can save the user and get the addresses of the current user now let's update and delete our addresses so I close this from here and also this now let's go to our backend controllers and the address controllers so first of all we have to get the address by ID also so I will type here get address so address dot find by ID okay so find by ID and I pass in here the request dot query dot ID okay so we will get the ID and pass the address in here and I'll ch check that if uh, not address then we simply have to type here return next type in here new error handler that we have created in our previous videos I will pass in here address not found we will throw the error and the status code is going to be 404 okay and that is going to be address actually like this okay so now we have this function as well that will get the details of the uh, single address all right and now let's create two more for the second one is going to be update address so update so we will get the address we will check that if address is not there if that address exists then we simply have to update that so i will type here address is going to be await address dot find 
by id and update and that i will pass in here the request dot query dot id the id of the uh, address and then the request dot body okay so it will update the address and we will get back our address here and for the delete i will copy this from here okay so that is going to be the delete address and if the address is not there we will throw this error and if that address exists then we simply have to delete that so address dot remove and we also have to use here await save it and that is it okay so now uh, i will return here success that is going to be true oops that is success save it and now let's close this from here go to our pages uh, in the addresses create a new file here that is the id.js okay so i will simply copy this from here and paste that here so first of all we have here get that is going to be get address okay and we have to remove this and then for the put i have the update address so i will import that now we also have delete and all three routes are protected so that is going to be delete address save it and our backend endpoints are ready now we have to just handle that on the front end so what i do is i simply go in the components in the user create a new component that is called update address dot jsx okay so i will use this same component i just have to change the name to the update address and that is the update address okay and i will type here update address simply save it and now we have to get the address uh, that is already there and we have to display that and the values in the fields okay so to get the actually address details i go to my page in the address uh, in the address i get a new folder that is called the id okay in the id i get a new folder that is called page.jsx now that i have to get the details of that address basically okay so i will go in the me and in the page i will copy this entire code from here put that here that is going to be get address okay and we have to pass here the id of the address so i will get here my params and that i will pass in here the params dot id now i have the id of the address here and the endpoint is going to be slash api slash address and then slash the id okay so now it will get the address and give us back and now i will pass that address right in here and the page name is going to be update address um, page and the component is going to be update address and i will remove this profile from here simply save it and now i have here the address and also i need here the id of that address so i type here id that is going to be params dot id okay so we have here the id of the um address and then the address itself save it and also save this one so now i will set here the values so address dot street okay if i save it from here now if i go back to my chrome and you can see that they here on hover i can get here the address slash the id of the address if i if i click you can see that here we get here update address and the street is already there now let's display the other values so i go back that is going to be address uh, i will paste all that here that is going to be city then the state then the zip code and then we have here the phone number and then the country save it and now we have all the details of that address here okay so now we are getting the details of the address now we have to simply update it so for the update i will first of all change the button here so update now we have to create our new uh, function that is called update address so for that i close this from here go to my context in the auth context 
um, I will simply copy this from here update address we have to pass in here the ID of the address and then, and then the address that I want to update it is going to be axios.put and then the out is going to be slash the ID of that address and pass in here the address that I want to update okay so if we have data dot address then we will replace uh, with I type here slash address and then slash the ID of the address so we will basically refresh that page you can also use here auto refresh if you want and then I also create here a variable that is called updated updated and then set updated by default it is going to be false okay so I will set here uh, set updated and that is going to be true okay and then I have to just pass this right here okay and then this set updated and then we also have to pass in here the updated like this simply save it and now I go back here here I will get the uh, basically error and then the updated value then the set updated okay and after set updated I will import here the update address and then the clear errors okay so I will scroll down and I will type here update address and pass in here new address and then the ID of that address okay and then let's also define here our use effect to handle the error so use effect and in that I will simply pass in here the error and then the um, I will check that if error exists so if error then simply toast dot error the error and then after that I will clear the errors and we also have to actually add that in the uh, if I copy this from here I also have to add that in the a new address so if there is any error we will get that here like this simply save it we also have to import here the use effect save it and now we also have to display a toast for the updated so what I do is I will simply copy this from here and I put that here so if updated then I will simply toast dot success that address updated and I will type here set updated is going to be false okay so we will set it back to the false and also I will use here in the dependency array the updated save it and I think so that is it if I go back uh, to my chrome if I read this page if I type here like one two three if I click here update so query is not defined okay so we have the error of the query I go back in the controllers address controllers so we have here uh, request dot query so I will type here dot go back below this page once if I type here one two three click on update you can see that the address is updated here okay for reload this page the address is updated so in this way we can update the address if I type here like NY and click on update so address updated if I reload this page it is still updated okay so in this way we can update the address now we also have to delete the address if, we, if user want to delete that what I will do is I will give here our second button to delete the address right here okay so we'll handle that here I will go back I close this from here go here and let's add a button here so I will add a div here I will use here some classes of a tailwind so div I will use here grid okay then medium uh, I will give here grid uh, columns uh, because you have two buttons here so I will oops that is dash columns I will give here two columns 
then for the gap I will give here um, x3 okay and that is x3 and I will use this button inside here okay and if I go back you can see that here we have this button here on this side and let's add one more button so I simply copy will copy this button from here and that is going to be delete and for the blue I will use here BG red save it uh, we also have to change here fed so now we have here this update and delete button okay so we have to delete the address so I add here on click I will use here the delete handler okay so I copy that from here and then I create here const delete handler okay now in that I will simply call here delete address and pass in here the ID of the address that I want to delete and we have to uh, get this delete address from the uh, context simply save it from here now let's go back here and define our function that is delete address so I copy this from here paste that here and that is the uh, delete address so I will remove this from here use that here and also I have to imp uh, write in the values the delete address okay now that is going to be a delete request okay so if data dot success then I will uh, type here router dot push to slash me okay if I save it from here um, I don't need here this address we don't have to pass that and also I remove that from here simply save it and now if I go back and if I click here delete okay so that's the end of this video i hope that you understand we have successfully updated our address and also we are deleting the address of the user so if you have any question you can post that in the comment section i will definitely reply there and or you can also get the source code of this video in the description uh, of this video okay and also if i go back you can also add one more if check if i can just show you here i hope that you can add that you can simply check here that if uh, the request.user.id is not equal to the uh, this address dot user this means that user that is updating the address is not the same user you can simply throw the error that you are not allowed to update this address or delete the address okay so I hope that you can add that if check also if you want okay so that's the end of this video I will see you in the next lecture in which we will integrate our cloudinary and multer